I'm Brian Watkins. This is the tutorial for Pivot Table A4. Total sales by quarter showing how much product is sold in each quarter. So we've, we've done very similar tables to this point. Let's go to our product sales data. Insert. Pivot Table. OK. Category. Product. Sales. Now we're going to add quarter. So we click on it. And it comes up like this, and that's kind of awkward to read. If we want to find out what happened in the fourth quarter, you know, that's a long report to read. So let's try uh, reformatting it, pivot the data. And the way to do that is to click on the field quarter. If we didn't like where the computer thought we wanted it, we're in charge, we can move it. So we'll move it up here to column and see what happens. And when you move it to column, everything looks better. Uh, now you can you can read down the row for all your quarters. You can read across the row for a grand total. You've got a total down here for each category. It looks good. Let's format it. Um, formatting we have shown several times, but it's tricky. Your format is found at Value Field Settings in the bottom left hand of the uh, dialog box. Number. Use the separator. And the power of that is that it formats every number in the table at the same time. If you were to format a few cells, uh, you would have lost that formatting. So now we have everything ready to go. Uh, we just want to clean it up a bit. So let's go to our format as table. Uh, let's see, how about a medium format? That looks good. But uh, let's try something a little different, maybe a light. Okay. Now, how do we clean this up? We look down and we see right here where it's where it's covering some of these. So let's widen that out so that we can read all of our categories. That's good. Um, we want to give ourselves a little extra room in these columns because they're kind of squeezed. So we highlight the columns over by clicking and dragging with the cursor in the column bar actually on that C. Then we click and drag. If we do that and we right click we get the column width option which helps us do it all, the, all at once. So we'll just give it a 13. That stretches it out good. Um, let's make sure and center our column headings. And there we go. I think that that's formatted appropriately. It looks good. Let's look. Our grand total is still 618, but now we have the columns. So let's check one of them as a check figure. 152. Let's go over to the key. 152, and let's go down. 152. We're good to go. And that's uh, essentially how you add a column to your pivot table. Now again, it's important to recognize that when you have pivot tables, See, I've clicked out of it, and so it's not active. If I click back in it, I get these fields back. And even after I've done all the formatting, I can move things around again. I could say, let's put product up here. Uh, that's completely unworkable, so let's bring it back. And there we go. Let's click out of it. But uh, what you need to recognize is that with pivot tables, the flexibility of a pivot table allows you to experiment and kind of, uh, let's stretch this out so we can read all that, and make sure that your data does what you want it to do. So it looks like when we uh, juggled it, it got rid of our good formatting. So let's put our good formatting back and learn that lesson. Go back up, click out of the table, and we're good.